With the series tied at one all, it would all come down to this. A green deck in Hobart, prompting Aaron Finch to give his quicks first use. Let's hope this match is as close as it is on paper. New Zealand had to knuckle down in the bowler-friendly conditions. Big shout for that one. Martin Guptal picking up from where he left off in Sydney. Great shot. After an initial pace barrage, it was the spin of Adam Zampa that struck first. New Zealand would then be two down, courtesy of a sensational direct hit from Pat Cummins. Took the gamble against the fielder and lost badly. Josh Hazelwood returned to the Australian lineup and he soon had the key wicket of Ross Taylor. Yeah. Takes it, great catch. Even greater responsibility falling on Kane Williamson, the captain losing another partner in Tom Latham, thanks to a great piece of work from Alex Carey. And when Cummins removed Williamson for 37, New Zealand was struggling at 5 for 113. Williamson falls short of 50. Needing to up the ante, Jimmy Neesham hit out at the death. That is going all the way. Six big runs. As did the powerful Colin de Gronholm, both taking the long handle to Darcy Short. But Finch's gamble to bowl his second string spinner late on paid off. Three wickets from Short restricting the Kiwis to 8 for 177. No one really got going and nobody getting past 50. The visitors needed to strike early and Trent Bolt did just that. A very important wicket that one. First was David Warner followed by this gem to knock over Steve Smith. He's beaten all ends up by that. The Aussies in trouble at two for six, and while the skipper got going, solid shot. Wickets continued to tumble. Yeah! Accuracy is the key. Manus Labuschagne helped stem the flow, but when he was trapped in front for 20, followed by a Mitch Marsh duck two balls later, Australia were up against it at five for 70. Calm was needed, and Carey would provide it, while Finch looked to expand. And that makes it 50. Just as the host looked to wrestle back control, Carey departed. And when Cummins fell, New Zealand could sense victory. And this is massive for the fielding side. As the run rate climbed steeply to nine and over, Finch had to motor. Oh, picks that one up nicely. And he found an ally in Mitchell Stark. Full ball and got on top of it early. Some clean hitting from both of them, leaving Australia with 11 runs to win off the final over. Nice shot, four runs. Final over now for this innings, Ferguson to bowl it. Yeah. Hit that hard and fast. Stark with a crucial boundary to hand the ascendancy back to the home side. Seven runs needed, five balls remaining. Yeah. A desperate single handing the strike back to his captain. Finch facing, six to win off four. Yep, yep. That's not the length to bowl. Clutch from the captain, just two to win, the man of the moment 98 not out. The script couldn't have been written more perfectly. Yes. Run saved with that effort. But the unselfish Finch took the single. He'd be left stranded on 99. Ferguson needs some perfect deliveries here. Scores level. Stark unable to cash in on his first of two chances. Could it turn out to cost the Aussies? Now to the final ball of the match. Yeah. He did it, just. Australia home in a final ball thriller in Tasmania, clinching the roller coaster series 2-1. A superb performance.